dating is never easy. It's tough. You know, you got to go out there. You, you're not sure. You got to put yourself out there. You don't know who's going to buy. You don't know how you're going to look. Joining me right now, relationship expert and author, Deborah McLeod. Deborah. I'll tell you who's going to buy. You're going to tell me he's who's going to buy. buy. He, That's right. He's yeah. going to buy. Every he's going to buy. Well, what, what if she's a lawyer, yeah. doctor? No, he's still going to buy. You know, this is what couples do when they start dating early. They don't know how to behave. They don't know what to do. They don't know who's going to pay. Should they go Dutch and all this kind of thing? I am a big believer in going back to dating conventions. You know, it's like when you go to somebody's funeral, you know what to say. You know you bring flowers and you say, I'm so sorry for your loss. And you go along your way, right? And that is a really awkward social situation. But we have these conventions, you know how to behave. And dating is the same kind of stressful social situation where we're just lost, we don't know what to do. So the problem with people dating nowadays is they'll grab onto things like love systems, like pickup systems for guys. Oh, you can seduce her if you just do this. Or for women, don't you know? let him call three times before you answer and all that kind of the rules, that kind of stuff. And it just creates confusion and mixed messages and people get nasty and then you wonder why women act crazy because you know all this stuff is going on. So I think returning to those conventions where the guy picks you up or well maybe for safety reasons you can meet there but certainly he at least offers to pay maybe a woman can pick up the tip at least for the few first few dates uh, he puts the suggestion out there would you like to go see this movie or that movie give her a few options but at the same time suggest what you're gonna do pull the chair out you know do those basic sort of gentlemanly things because you know chivalry it's just it's kinda dying we need to bring it back we really really do for the benefit of all does it look bad uh, if the girl doesn't reach for her purse to look like she's going to pay, you know, and even gives the guy, no, 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 I got this, no? It's the litmus test. Uh, I'll just sit back and watch. Is he going for the credit card or isn't he? Some guys will be offended by that, that she didn't even reach well, for her then purse. fine, then don't call again. <laughs> then don't call, dating is expensive. Women are expensive. And I mean, I'm having a little fun, right? Like yeah. after a few dates, yeah, absolutely. But but definitely, I think that women, for the most part, many, many, I'm not speaking for all women, but many, many single women I speak to are just, they miss that sort of being swept off their feet, being romanced and, you know, being treated like a lady. And I think guys, you know, you're wrong if you think it's not gonna work in your favor, just huge brownie points. All right. Yeah. Well, there you have it. Women are expensive, but <laughs> worth it. That's right. relationship expert, Deborah McLeod, we'll see you next time with more relationship advice.